something, okay? So, I'm going to be doing this big patch here in the wall. Um, preparation first. Script tape your plasterboard joints. It stops it cracking. Yeah, it's supposed to. So, next I'll be mixing up some ball coat. Uh, it's actually quite, I don't know if the can will pick us up, but there's quite a, a bit of depth in it like so there is, you know. So I'll need to bond it all out first before I skim it and make it like new again. Just basically keep it straight at the angles. I'm going to be using the speed skim to get it flat and straight with my ball coat and then my skim coat. So I'll come back to this when I'm putting the ball on. Right, so guys, I have, have my bottles mixed up. Bottles a uh, all the coat plaster, and um, it's especially good for filling out plasterboard and stuff. So I'll show you where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start at the edges. That's the heaviest part. And I'll build it out and work my way into the center from there. Some people would scrim that and patch it away on out, but I want it to be good tight and square to the edge. Just 
fill in your holes. I'm trying to straighten things out that are heavy. The keys get them all as neat as you can on first turn. It'll help you out straighten it. Give it a trial and give it a key. Right guys, the walls 
tighten it up a bit now, so it's ready for a trial very shortly. But get your tools washed up, some clean water. Now you have a chance. So it doesn't leave any marks on the wall, it keeps stay straight. Clean both sides, almost you don't use that side but clean it anyway. soft but you just want to get it reasonably flat clean your angles get them as clean as you can I'll come back around and hit the end of the game of cleaner water this is just flattening and at your edges here you don't want to be flush flush you want to just take a wee bit out Just out of your skin coat. A couple of mils will go on in. So like I say guys, this, this coat doesn't have to be perfect, it does have to be straight. No big large hollows or bumps on it. You want to have it reasonably straight. So that your skin coat can follow a nice straight pattern, you know. And again the other side, cut out a couple of mil. You can see the stuff I'm actually taking away from the sides there. You can cut your sides again later when it sets hard. You can scrape them back a little bit just before it goes fully hard. And again, like I said, I'll come back again with cleaner wire and just clean that edge up really good. Guys, it actually takes, I'd say it's between an hour and two hours on the bag, something like that, and it normally does set for me in about an hour, which is quite good, especially for some big heavy hollows. That's good. That's good. Demonstration purposes. Some of you guys probably mark it with a float and do lines in it like that. But what, what I prefer to use is I prefer to use a brush to get my key for a skin key. Um, this is a mechanical key that will allow the finish the grip and bond to the bottom coat. And using an old brush, guys, don't be using a good floor brush. You can see that's, that's handy even for when I'm doing ceilings. You know, that's just an old brush that leaves a very nice mark. Okay. So, as you can see guys, some people do prefer to use the float method, but I think that's just a bit near. Um, so I'll come back to this and show you it getting skinned. 
Once you get your stuff mixed up or even just before I ever I get this is great but give your ball coat a wee quick great make sure it's no high bits no lumps Make sure your body and walls clean too guys so you know trail and hang up the wall I can coat over your bottom before it's set, but I've done other bits and pieces around the house. I just decided to let this go and the keel has it fine, I guess. You don't always have to have the, the bottom soft, so you know. So I'll still give us two coats of finishing plaster and give it a quick coat. You'll see it actually kick in nice. Nice and fast the first coat and then we'll set coat straight away. So obviously there's gonna be things I probably miss out guys I'm trying to keep the videos down. A short nice time to use the, the last so the boys too much, you know. I mean, it's actually a cardite skin, nice coat, and it sets in about probably about nine or ten minutes. That's what it says on the bag, it can't set, it does say approximately, so it will cover itself when it says that. Obviously, it depends, you set quicker and faster, just depending on your water, and you're cleaning your buckets and stuff in the background that you're working over. I'm obviously working over sexy at it. It'll be a, a low social background. So it's not going to set too far.
Zo dit ik krijg zijn we. Dan hebben we hier een stukje hier. Dat voelt zeker niet goed. So people can do things differently. You can't let it sit for 10 minutes and let the first coat tape up a bit more, but such a small wee wall thing. Semi kind of an all in the house. And then we'll just double coat it there. Have it done. Remember guys, important parts will be, obviously the whole wall is important, but cleaning angles, clean joints, and keep it neat along the bottom, so you don't, I'll show you, if you can, if you don't want to be having a wall bell casting, because then when your skirting comes, the, the boy doing the joinery work is going to have serious issues with you, <laughs> and that'll be too impressed. So keep it tidy and straight at the bottom. Even if you have to run your trowel. Let's see how it works there. Get that. Well, obviously the whole wall is important, but again, I could run the super flex or sorry the speed skin right on it. So I could run the speed skin. Up both ends, make sure things are nice and straight. But I can feel it that it's coming by the ace there. And come back, guys, show you it when it's all traveled up and finished off nicely. This is the last wet child, guys. When it's done, just clean it up. So there's no point in me trying to teach us time, so you'll have to sort of figure it out yourselves of when it's ready to trial even for the legs of the bottom when it's ready to when you're ready to go ahead and head on it and you're finished cooked you know something you know it'll take time to learn but you'll get there same as your trial you'll need to touch it feel it is it ready is it set you know before you just trial it out but you don't get there with time like for anybody doing a bit of DIY and there any practices coming in in the game trying to learn it. You just don't get there, like, but you know, might learn it after watching one video. I do plan on doing a couple more videos, guys, for you. Showing you a bit more detail and trying to explain as much as possible, but I still did take time for me just to get the videos made and think about things to show you. Give you some tips and stuff that will help us out. Or if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see, just swag it in the comments. And if I'm coming across doing that type of job, I can 
help you out with a couple of tips for whenever we need it. Obviously all our plasters and everybody makes their own tools, different types of tools, different types of materials. You know, it's, uh, everybody's their own individual, they're going to feel more comfortable with certain things and they're going to find certain methods better. But I can only give you what, what I like and what I find easier. Hit the like button if you liked it and please subscribe for more mega attacks.